Good evening, this is Carrie in Carrie's Kitchen. I'm gonna be demonstrating a delicious Pampered Chef recipe called Chicken and Broccoli Braid um, with a few of the Pampered Chef items. Uh, this is a, a older recipe, but one of the favorites. Uh, what I've already done is I've cooked up my two cups of chicken. Um, I used my new uh, 10 inch stainless, uh, it's a non-stick 10 inch skillet. Um, worked great, I didn't have to spray it at all. So I'm going to now chop up the two cups of chicken. I'm gonna use an all time favorite, the, the food chopper. Uh, as I mentioned before, it does come with a lid if you're doing things like nuts or graham crackers. But I'm just going to take uh, a pile of chicken underneath the unit and then just use your hands to pump the, the blades. The blades actually go around. You can see the blades in here. They go around and this is just going to be kind of finely chopped. I'm actually cutting on one of our cutting boards. This is the large uh, groove cutting board. So things like if you're doing a, a turkey, it has an edge that the juices can drain into. On the other side, it's completely flat. Of course, I have two cutting boards here. One is for my, my meat products, and I will be doing some vegetables on the, the other smaller cutting board. As I've mentioned before, the cutting boards are the polypropylene, so it will not hurt your knives. Just about done here. Uh, the, the food chopper is really nice because it, it, it comes a, apart very easy, so it's, it's easier to wash. So I'm going to measure out um, two cups and I'm using my mini scraper and I'm using my see-through one cup measuring this has both ounces and cups and milliliters as well so versatile you'll be seeing me using it a couple times in this recipe and I'm going to be using Again, the classic batter ball. This will be a, a repeat for many of my recipes. Um, this is a eight cup capacity, dishwasher safe, oven safe, just an all time. And it has a, a handy handle, pour spout, so pancakes, etc. Um, and then has a lid that you can store things in, in the refrigerator if you want. Hi, Linda. Hi, Vino. Um, while I'm doing this, I have also started a, a YouTube channel. So if you have time to go out there, like everybody says, please subscribe. Um, I didn't know, but you can't do a live uh, presentation with your camera unless you have 2,000 subscribers. So uh, help me get there. Okay, so I have two cups of uh, coarsely chopped cooked chicken. Um, to cut up the chicken earlier, I did use the, the chef knife. Um, what I liked, I don't know if they, I think they still come in a, a sharpening uh, unit, but it's, this has been a really good purchase for everyday cooking. Now I'm going to um, cut up the broccoli, I need a cup and a half of chopped broccoli. And I'm gonna just cut it at the tops of the flowers and then use the chopper again. I washed my vegetables ahead of time. And just you can see how fast it is to get finely chopped. A lot of kids, well, me eating some adults don't like broccoli, but if it's finely chopped, they it adds a great flavor. They don't even know it's there.
and I said I needed a cup and a half. And then using the same measuring cup, which is nice, I can just see on the edge here, yep, there's a half a cup. All right. Then I need a half a cup of diced bell pepper. So I'm going to show you um, a, a unique tool that has been around forever. Um, this is a bee cut and you can use it as a decorative tool um, for cutting, and that's what I'll show you here, even though that's not what's gonna go into the recipe, but I wanted to show you this, as well as using uh, chocolate. So if you wanna drizzle anything, you make it uh, thin enough, and then you can drizzle things on baked goods or other recipes. But what I'm gonna show you this, um, this evening is how you can take a, a pepper um, and make it maybe a dish for some dip, some uh, vegetable dip. And you just take the bee cut and you, you move it along the pepper. And it starts to make the decorative bee and you'll see at the end, I can remove the top. I see Bonnie's joined us, hi, and Tony, thanks for joining. If you missed what's for, for supper tonight, it's chicken and broccoli uh, braid. Um, when I was doing Pampered Shift before, a lot of the early recipes used uh, the pre-made refrigerator doughs. And I have just, they are so easy that if you need something warm, um, they really make making the recipe quick and easy. So you can see um, how it, it creates kind of a cute little bowl. Um, I'm not gonna use it for that tonight, but I just wanted to show you that. I'm actually gonna uh, chop up a half a bell pepper, finely chopped. Again, um, I find that I like my onions and peppers cut finely. Um, I like the taste. I don't necessarily like to bite into big chunks of it. So you can just coarsely cut the pepper and then I'll use the food chopper to get it into a finer chop. And you can see I'm still using the same water so it doesn't matter for the vegetables. I already have uh, broccoli in the mix so No need to drink some more. And again, I needed a half a cup. Perfect. All right, then I need one third cup mayonnaise. Again, using the mix and scrape, mini mix and scrape. This is one of the nice things about this measuring cup is you, you don't need to dirty three, you can just dirty the one. Um, it calls for uh, pant the pantry, um, Pamper Chef has a number of spices you can, you can purchase. Um, it calls for the all-purpose dill mix. I don't have that, but I have the bell pepper herb mix from Pampered Chef, so I thought that would be a, a really good substitute. I need two teaspoons. I'm using the see-through uh, stackable measuring spoons. So two teaspoons. Then I need a fourth teaspoon, so again, so stackable, I need some salt, fourth 
one fourth teaspoon salt. And then um, the, the garlic clove, as I've mentioned numerous times, if you don't have a garlic press, you, you should get one. Um, you don't have to peel the garlic, you just put it in the press, push it, and it, it holds up to at least two cloves at a time, pushes the pulp through. I usually take my knife and just scrape it clean. And then it comes with cleaning tools that you can get all the holes nice and clean. Um, I'm gonna use uh, pre-processed, and it calls for one clove. All right, and then here's our mixture. So we gotta stir this together. Remember, it's the chicken, broccoli, pepper, some seasoning, mayonnaise. Get it thoroughly mixed up. Okay. Now I'm going to um, separate an egg because we're going to make a an egg wash. Find my separator. Pampered Chef does have an egg separator. So it's easy to do this. I'm using the, this is a, a three-fourths cup. Top lid is actually one cup of the uh, glass measuring bowls. This is a two cup, which is great for, um, what I like is you can store things back in the, in the fridge or they're microwavable, they're oven safe. And I'm using the, the mini whisk right now to whisk up my egg whites. And we're gonna use that for a little bath. So next I'm going to turn to putting the braid together. So you can see I rolled out, it's two containers of crescent roll. You take them and you, this is one full tube, this is the other full tube. And then I'm going to use my, my pa mini pastry roller. What I like about this compared to a big rolling pin is that uh, it can get into places that a, a normal size can. Uh, this is a nice flat surface for just regular rolling, which we'll do um, tonight. But this one, you, you can't see very well, but there's an actual curve on it. So let's say you have a pie, pie plate, you can get into areas like that. I'm also gonna use uh, the flour shaker. They now come in stainless steel and put a little flour on my crescent rolls so they don't stick. And all I really need to do is um, press out the seams a bit and get them together. where we make the braid. Uh, we have to cut this in, uh, let's see, I think it's eight sections with like an inch and a half. So you leave this center alone and then you make about a three inch cut along the edges. So it really is um, about halfway through each crescent section. This is what I like about the Pampered Chef recipes is, you know, the end product looks so like you were really quite the cook, but um, it's very easy to do. All right, 
So now I'm going to take, um, this is the large scoop. They come in three different sizes and kind of a sneak peek. Uh, our new products come out March 1st and I, they uh, revealed them yesterday or the other day and it's actually going to be even a bigger scoop. So um, that's perfect. So I take the scoop and you just start putting it along the center, like two scoops along the center seam. I kind of press it up against the bowl. I don't know if you can see me doing that. So I, I take the scoop, press it up, and then clean the scoop. I'm just going to make sure we got some down at the very end and spread it a little bit. Okay, now this is how you make the braid. So you, you take the, the first piece and you twist it and you, you lay it on, on top of the braid. Go to the opposite side, twist it, and lay it in the middle. And you just follow that through the whole length of the I think this goes this way. Whole length of the braid. I preheated the oven to 375. Now it calls for just rolling up the end and just kind of pinching it to the, the starting of the braid. So when it bakes, it doesn't. So right now, this is what it looks like before we do the egg wash. So I'm gonna take my egg whites and I have the pastry brush. And I'm just gonna lightly Put a little egg wash on each one of these braids. Now you can do a, the same recipe with any number of different formations. Uh, next week I'm doing a, a show where I'm going to be doing the taco ring, and that you use crescent rolls and you make a ring on the red on the round um, stone. Really pretty way to decorate things. Um, you can do rolls. Pampered Chef has a lot of instructions on how to do the different combinations and you can put any filling in here. So, um, you know, there might be another braid you want to do and you want to coat the top with some seasoning, but I'm going to keep this one just as is. And then we're going to pop this in the oven uh, for 25 to 30 minutes. Um, as I always do, I'll post the end product after it's baked. Uh, before I conclude, I did want to show you a few of the goodies that I got this week. Kind of excited. Of course, I, I like a few of the new products myself. Um, this is called the Bento Box. And it's really an in thing right now, I guess. But for the, the um, normal folks, it's like a lunch box. But it's uh, an Asian concept called Bento Box. It comes with uh, the lid and the strap to keep it all together. It comes with two containers, and then 
The first one has, it has a, a seal. You can't really see that on the video, but there's actually a seal, so it keeps it tight. So just a straight container on, on one piece. And the other one is uh, a two piece. And I bought this for Eddie because as everyone knows, I make his lunch. And he's getting, he's becoming more demanding. And now we're moving away from sandwiches to he wants uh, leftovers. So I thought this would be a perfect way for sending his leftovers to work with him. Uh, another thing that um, I didn't have that I was kind of excited about is this is a stainless steel scoop. And you can see there's got little ridges in there. So little measurements, dishwasher safe. So it's up to two tablespoons. Um, but I thought that was so cute. Um, I'm always needing things for like my coffee or, or just quick measurements and I like stainless steel. Um, I've also bought, they have a spice called Everything Taco Seasoning. This one I'm kind of excited. There is a recipe I'll probably do in the coming weeks. It calls for honey sriracha. Um, Tori is just a sriracha addict. So I thought, oh, this will be a, a good uh, addition. And then garlic Parmesan. Pamper Chef also has uh, a number of, uh, you can do a subscription to some of their, their pantry items and their health and wellness. So if you want more information on that, here's one that um, just caught my eye, so I had to, had to try it, uh, Pad Thai. So um, when I figure out, it says just add soy sauce, your favorite protein and fresh toppings to create a flavorful meal. So when I find, figure this one out, I'll, I'll share it with you. Um, and then the last thing I, I wanted to share today, um, besides that the new products again are, are gonna be um, more readily available coming March. And so if you're interested in, in doing any kind of show, um, it's virt it'd be virtual if you'd like, which would be easy. Um, I did do uh, kind of a historic favorite. Um, I had some leftover frosting from cake decorating for some other things. So I made little mini cupcakes for Eddie and uh, I used the little um, liner so I don't have a messy pan. But this this pan is just so versatile because I you can make um, appetizers, one of the recipes that if you have a party to go to or you're entertaining, the, the recipe is um, mini ham puffs. You make them in here with crescent rolls and they fly off the plate. So this would be a, a good, I, I have two of them because it does seem that whatever you're making, you always need to make two pans and it's just more handy to have two. And with that, I think I've covered everything that I wanted to talk about this evening and I will again post what this is uh, gonna look like when it comes out of the oven. Thanks for joining.